In 2 Samuel 18.18, 18, we find that Absalom built a monument for himself. The monument behind me was Absalom's monument to himself. It says in the 18th Psalm that God made a monument to David. It said this psalm was spoken by the Lord of the words of this song the day that the Lord delivered David from the hand of all of his enemies. David's spiritual secret is that his life's monument was that he served God. In fact, David's spiritual secret is that all of us can have a life that serves God. If you look through the Psalms, which reflect all the events of David's life, you find that in every event, whether it was as a young man in Psalm 19, out on the hillsides reflecting on God, making choices for character and spiritual life, or Psalm 23, finding God, in a personal way, or the 132nd, the holy habits that David had, or when he was running from Saul in Psalm 57 and hiding in caves like Psalm 142. In each of these Psalms, we find reflected David's spiritual secret. The secret was, unlike Absalom, who had to build monuments to himself, David's monument was he served God. And when God recorded David's life in the Bible, he gave more chapters devoted to the record of David's life than anyone else in the scriptures. Why? Because the biggest, most important character quality to God is a life that serves his will. Do you know what a servant is? A servant is someone who does the will of another. A servant has to do what someone else tells him to do. This is the record of what God wants us to do. And a servant is one who says, God, what you tell me to do, I want to do. David's spiritual secret is he had a life that served God. Served God as a young man. Served God as a, a young adult going through life struggling. Served God at the depths of his life, in his midlife crisis, when he sins with Bathsheba. And from those, from Psalm 32, he wrote how God lifted his sin up. From Psalm 38, he writes about how he was pierced through with agony when he lived in sin. From Psalm 51, he said, My mouth is opened. I'm praising the God who saved me. David's spiritual secret con contained in this book, he served God's purpose. In fact, God wrote his epitaph. In Acts chapter 13, Verse 22 and 36, David says this. David said, My desire in life is to do your will. And God said, David served my purposes in his generation. Do you want to serve God's purposes in your generation, in your life, at your job, in your home, in your marriage? Then be like David. It's recorded in this book. David served God. The greatest thing in all of life is serving God. At this spot with Absalom's monument to himself behind me and with God's monument to David before all of us, let's just in our hearts prayerfully ask God to make us be those servants for his glory. Would you bow with me in prayer right where you are in your heart and let's just consecrate this moment to be God's servants. Father in heaven, I thank you. I thank you for putting 141 chapters in this book about David and from those to distill out the secret of his life. It started when he was a young man on those hillsides as a shepherd, when he made a holy habit that he'd spend time with you every day, and when he made a resolve in his life to set nothing wicked before his eyes, and then when he discovered truth about you that wasn't just head knowledge, it was truth that he embraced. And then, Lord, even when he fell into sin, he hated it, and he cried out to you for forgiveness. Thank you that David ended well. And as the 18th Psalm said, that you, all the way through, were his fortress, his deliverer. And David's spiritual secret is the secret of all of our lives. If we want a life that will be rewarded, we have to be your servant. If we want to be in your presence forever, we must serve you. And Lord, I pray, that right now, while we're thinking about it, we would say, Lord, I want to do your will. As you, Lord Jesus, told us in the Garden of Gethsemane, our lives should be focused not toward our wills, but that yours be done. 
In the precious name of Jesus, we consecrate our lives today. In Jesus' name, amen.